the best death, uh, you know, from 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 Buddhist point of view, you know, if you if your practice is extremely good, then you can have like a Dharmakaya kind of death and Sambhogakaya kind of death, or sometimes he calls Dharmakaya kind of power, Sambhogakaya kind of power, Nirmanakaya kind of power, like that. And these are like um, when you really understand or experience the wisdom um, and the, how things, well, how, how you are, you know. Then you kind of, when, when death comes, you realize that your experience of that uh, becomes fully uh, awakened. So therefore, in a way, there is no death, you know. And that's the highest kind of death, that you become enlightened at the time of death. Uh, the second best death is that, you know, you have, uh, you have confidence that, you know, you have lived a very good life, you have done lots of positive things, and you have certain experience and understanding of how that, how death process goes. So therefore, you are confident and you have no fear of death. You know. Then you have also a good death when you look back to your life and you say that, you know, I have lived it as best as I could. I have no regrets. Uh, I have done as best as I could. So therefore, I can die in peace. I think these are, these are good, good deaths. It's about now no? that we try to uh, generate a compassionate state of mind, a peaceful state of mind, a little bit of wisdom as much as we can. And then we try to do something in our life that's good for me and good for others, good for now and good for the long run. Uh, the more meaningfully we live, the more we are prepared for a good death, I think.